In this video, I'm going to be showing you a really effective little passing play out of the U-Trips offense. I think that U-Trips is one of the best offenses in this game, especially when you can put a bunch of abilities on the field to make it even better. Now, if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description. It's only $10 to become a member. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks book so if you want to sign up for that the link is in the description if you want to go check that out all right guys so what we're gonna be talking about today is we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite concepts uh, out of the U trips formation and that is the simple play um, scat now scat is a very important play in the big picture of the U trips offense because it is the one play in the formation that has a stock and sharp cutting quarter route it also has a really good wheel route to the running back um, and so we're going to be showing you how I like to run this play to attack the defense. So we're going to be utilizing the play scat. Now, uh, the setup for this play is actually really simple. We are going to streak our outside uh, trips receiver. And then what we're going to do underneath is we're going to run a drag or mesh concept. So you see here, this is what the play looks like. I'm going to drag my tight end and I'm going to drag my solo wide receiver. Now, if they are in zone coverage, the main read on the play is going to be this uh, this uh, quarter route, uh, trust me, it's a little better than that. Uh, let me freeform that. That'll make it a little bit better. Get it more to the sideline. So again, what you'll see here, maybe. There you go. Freeform it outside. There we go. So when you freeform this outside, because of the way zones work in this game, it is actually really difficult for a zone to get outside and actually defend the corner route. That's what makes corner routes so good, and that's what makes zones so bad. And we want to take advantage of that um, with this. So again, really simple, even though that is a, uh, that's a quarter flat, and you're seeing that we're able to just consistently attack it uh, against the zone coverage. Now, let me walk you through a couple of other standard coverages. If they hard flat, it's gonna be even more open, as I'm sure you can imagine. You'll see right here, here's a hard flat, and you see he's wide open to the corner. Again, this is a super simple play. You don't need Hot Route Master. The one ability that I would recommend on this play is if you notice Cooper Cup is technically inside the numbers, it will really help if when you're playing man coverage if he has short and elite, okay? So here you'll see, here's cover three. Same basic thing. He's going to get over or outside of the zone defender, and you're going to be able to throw this with consistency. So you're able to attack every coverage, every zone coverage in the game, uh, with this concept. Now we're going to get to man in a second because I know you want to be able to um, attack man as well. This play actually does a really good job of attacking man, but as you can see, corner route is really good. Now, um, I want to show you the cover two coverage and show you what happens with that. So if they're in a cover two coverage, um, U trips is kind of set up stock to be very effective against cover two with this, with this guy out here. He actually kind of got pressed into oblivion. Let me show you that one more time. Um, but sometimes this fade or streak to your outside player is really where you're looking to go with the ball and cover two. It does depend a little bit on you know how they how they defend this fade off the line of scrimmage, but that little hole shot right there is what we're looking to hit um, against cover two. Now I will say this corner route. The one um, thing you want to understand about cover two this year, cover two can get killed if you know they're running it. Like if I just streak my tight end here. And you'll watch this right here. You'll see that this will crush cover two. Because now I have somebody to kind of suck in the uh, the deep half over there. But if I don't, if I get kind of caught in this concept, then you'll see that this corner route is probably best defended by cover two, as you see right there. Now, I want to clarify this by saying if you see press coverage, any kind of pressed cover two, it doesn't matter if they drop zone drops or not. The cloud flats are really bad when you press them. So you'll see here, now I got this thing wide open over the top. So they have to basically play off coverage cover two to stop this. Um, and that does stop the, the deep shot play. But what is gonna be open as a result is our underneath drags are gonna be wide open, as you can see right here. And we can just check it down and take what the defense gave us. Okay. Now, the main reason we utilize these drags is it gives us, I think, a little bit better of an option against man. So if they are going to run some man coverage, um, sometimes your corner route or your corner route will typically beat man to the sideline because he has short and elite, right? 
Um, sometimes your fade on the outside. I have Jalen Waddle with short out elite out there. Um, you know, you could. There's some other players that could potentially be better in that spot, to be honest. Um, but sometimes he'll be open across, and then you have your little crossers underneath. Both of your crossers have short and elite as well. So you've got, you know, really good kind of setup for your abilities as well with this. So you see here, um, just throw the throw the drag as I get super shedded and my tight end got pressed into the dirt. But anyways, we'll talk about this wheel route in just a second of the running back because I want to hit on that as well against the pressure. Um, you know, but what you're wanting to look at here, there's tight ends open. We can take that tight end route. Bada bing, bada boom. So real simple play, um, but really effective against man and zone. So again, if they're going to run man on you, um, really what you're wanting to hit is you're wanting to hit your corner route. This corner route's really good against man. It's pretty consistent. Uh, I'm still learning how to freeform, as you can see. Um, you know, but uh, but anyway, this this is one of the better plays in the game because it's it's super simple to set up. You don't need any of any like you don't need hot route master, even though I do have it. And then if you can learn how to throw a freeform corner route, um, you, you see that this corner route because it's sharper is a better against man. It's worse against zone, but it is definitely better against man. So as you can see there. Now, let me show you one other thing real quick, just for fun while we have some time. Uh, I did want to show you this. We're going to show you two things against the blitz. But the first thing is, if you put this hot route master corner route out here, you're going to see it's going to go a lot deeper down the sideline. And so I can throw this a little bit more consistently against cover two. So that's just kind of, just so you know, if, you, if you're really wanting something for cover two, there you go. Now, the other thing that I haven't hit on yet is this running back route. This running back quick throw is really, really effective because he catches the ball a little bit differently than he does when, with a stock wheel route. He's going to go more to the sideline, so it's more of a flat route, really, and how it works. And if you ever get in trouble, if you ever get in trouble, run this and throw the running back route. Like, if you're ever worried, this running back route is really difficult to guard. Really difficult to guard, okay? Um, let me show you man coverage real quick. And again... This is just a quick little five, you know, six yard play. Um, you'll see right here, the, the little pick. Now right there, um, if they go man coverage, then yeah, they can kind of hang, especially if they have that that leverage. Sometimes your player will pick him, so just keep that in mind. Um, but I'll show you something else. You, you can wait on this, and you can actually, you can actually not ag it, um, but you, you typically can actually ag these wheels um, against man if you get in trouble. So like, let's say everything's bagged, and I see I have a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to ag right there, just like that. That's kind of what you get. And what I would do is high point and free form it to leverage. So either outside or inside based on the leverage you have. Now, the other thing I want to hit on, though, is what if they blitz you? Okay, what if they blitz you? So this is an example of a blitz. You're going to notice that if that linebacker is not the guy in coverage on him, I can throw that. And I can, I'm never going to, it's going to be hard for them to intercept it. Now, um, the other thing is zone pressure. So, like, if they run a zone blitz on you, uh, let's just say we do a zone blitz on you, something like this, a lot of times they're going to leave their user responsible for the running back. And this is really good for that because he has to stand there for a second. Flat zones don't get outside. This route gets really outside. So, this is a really good little route that you can kind of, again, what I like to do is just look at it quick. Out there, okay, now we want to work the middle with our drags or we want to work the corner. So scat is a very versatile play in the U-Trips formation, in my opinion. Uh, I think U-Trips is really well equipped to attack a lot of different things you're going to be seeing uh, in Madden 23. So if you're watching this video and you want to uh, learn the rest of the U-Trips offense, you can get my full ebook in the description um, by joining our Patreon. Patreon gets you access to all of our ebooks. And all of our updates, it's down in the description. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.